This is the Rising Phoenix Dev, and today we're going to talk about creating a script that will manipulate the size, length, and width of a terrain. So sit back, relax, and let's begin coding. As previously mentioned, we're going to work on creating a script that will allow us to modify the length, width, and height of a terrain. So first things first, let's create our terrain object. Now, if we go over to terrain settings, you'll see resolution, terrain width, terrain length, terrain height, height map resolution, detail resolution, detail resolution per patch, control texture resolution, and base texture resolution. So the main ones we want to worry about is terrain width, length, and height. So to do this, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to minus that down. We're going to create a brand new script, and we're going to call this terrain controller. And to simplify things, I'm going to directly attach this to terrain object. Now we can open it in Unity. And let's do a quick sanity check. There. Just going to remove these. Now the very first thing we want to do is we want to create a public vector 3. So public vector 3. We're going to call this terrain size. Now, void start. We want to actually. I forgot one other thing. We also need the private terrain object. We're just going to call it terrain. And another sanity check. Thank you, Visual Studio Code, for not auto formatting. So in the start method, the very first thing we want to do is do terrain is set to get component terrain done. The next thing we want to do is terrain terrain data dot size equals terrain size. Now, let's explain this a little bit before we continue. So doing the get component on the terrain itself means that we don't have to worry about setting it to be public and then dragging the terrain object onto script itself. Instead, it'll just check to see if it's attached to a terrain object or if there's a terrain object available. Done. Now, terrain data is pretty much all of the data within the terrain, such as Link, the width, the height, green resolution, or the resolution, pretty much everything you can think of. And then size, the vector 3, is the x, y, z coordinates for length, width, and height. And then we set the terrain size, which we set it to be public and didn't initialize it, so it'll be the size that we specify it to be. So... Before I run this, I do want to say that there is a problem with it. I don't really want to get into it just yet. I want you to see for yourselves. So, let's go ahead and save the script. That way it updates in Unity. There. <clears throat> now, I want the X to be 150, Y to be 200, and the Z to be 100. Length with height, right? X length. Y height or width and Z height. Actually, no. 3D. X coordinate, horizontal. Y is vertical and Z is depth. So let's run it. Let's see what happens. Now we can go into the scene, 
take a look here. In the terrain itself, the X, the horizontal, set to width. The length, depth, set to, but not necessarily. And then the height, set to 250. Hmm, not exactly what we want. We want to simplify it and do X is horizontal, Y is depth for how long it is, and Z to be height. Just to simplify it. That way it's, it kind of works better with the mind. Because you automatically go, okay, X is length, Y is so on and so forth. <clears throat> so let's go back into the code. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make this vector 3 private. And then we'll do public float size X, public float size Y, and public float size Z. And now we can do terrain size equals new vector three. And we want this to be set to size Y, size Z, and size X. Save that and then go back into Unity. So now we can do 150, 250, 600. We'll run it. Stop it. And there we go. There's our terrain with the width at 250, the length at 150, and the height at 600. So this simplifies the process and also allows you to specify exactly the size of your terrain without having to go all the way in the settings. So instead, you can just go straight into, say, paint texture, smooth height, paint height, or raise lower terrain. Now, if you don't mind, I have to go eat these bitches for touching this computer the way they are. This is the Rising Phoenix Dev, signing out.